Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to do a little bit of a different haul and I'm going to show you some of my favourite things I've ever picked up from charity shops. I always find September is a nice time to just sort of look through your wardrobe, pick out those pieces you haven't worn in a while, getting ready for autumn. And there's actually so many pieces in my wardrobe that are from charity shops. So I thought I'd share them with you and also I thought I'd share the sort of thing I look for when I go into a charity shop. Um, because there's some rails and things I just always don't bother with and there's certain things that look better than others from a charity shop. <laughs> Obviously charity shops are a great way to shop sustainably and also things like Depop. I also love shopping on there every now and then. Not such a huge Depopper as I am charity shop goer. I just really enjoy the hunt. I will also leave my Depop link down below because I have a 20% off sale going on down there if you fancy checking that out. So yeah, let's get started with the video. So I'm going to start with a few little homeware bits. I also have some really nice prints I found recently, but they're currently up on walls and I forgot to take them down for this video. Um, but on my Instagram, there's like a highlights of hauls and I think they're on there if you want to see them. So quite recently, I picked up this little vase and this was 99p which I just think is crazy. And it's got this sort of speckled, cracked effect to it when it's up close. And I just thought the shape was really interesting and it would look quite cute with some dried flowers in it maybe, um, or just on its own like this. It's actually quite interesting. I've just put it behind me and it does add a little bit of interest to the room. I like that it's really neutral in color. So love that. Plus 99p, you really can't go wrong if you don't like it give it back to the charity shop <laughs> and actually quite a few charity shops have a returns policy now then these are one of my favorite home purchases from a charity shop it's just a pair of candlesticks and they're in this gorgeous like ribbed glass and i just love anything in this sort of glass that has like real interest to it they look really cute when they're on a little table setting and then a section that i always make sure i look in is curtains and fabric section and recently I found this pair of curtains. I think someone handmade these because they've got the fabric joining halfway down the middle but it's just in this gorgeous brown it's so autumnal and obviously you could use these as curtains but I'm going to cut these up and make them into a dress for my new collection. So stay tuned for my website because this could be made into a dress. Now I'm going to move on to clothing and the first category I want to talk about is coats. I have found some really great coats in the past, so I thought I would share them with you guys. So this is the first coat I wanted to show you, and I just love the cut of this coat. It's super simple, but really flattering. And the label is falling off, but originally it's from Danny Mac Sport, which I feel like would probably be quite a cheap sort of brand and it's got these sort of faux leather panels as well going down the sides and this coat cost me one pound <laughs> so it's definitely safe to say I've got my cost per wear tenfold at least and then in the charity shop in Banbury Banbury in Oxfordshire is great for charity shops there's like so many in the high street but this one I think I found in a Sue Rider and this when I tried this on, I was just like, I need this because I don't like having to wear in really heavy leather jackets or just wearing in anything leathery at all. Um, this is what the back looks like, but this jacket honestly fits like a glove and I have enough room to bend my arms and everything and it's just the perfect leather jacket. And this was £20, I think or 24 pounds, which is a bit more than I usually spend in charity shops, but it's a real leather jacket and it's someone else has already done the wearing in for me. Um, so very, very happy with this piece and I'm really excited to wear this in autumn, winter. I know a lot of you don't really like real suede and leather products and I completely understand that. I am sort of somewhere in the middle of not knowing what I feel about both of them. To me, having a leather product is sustainable in my eyes because it means it's something that I'm gonna have for a long time and it's not a cheaper product that's just gonna get thrown away. And also buying it secondhand gives it that second lease of life. Another thing I like to look for in charity shops is interesting oversized blazers like this one. This is made, I think, out of a wool woolen fabric. It's just got a really interesting check 
print to it and a really nice construction and it's very sort of 80s and oversized and then the back has some nice shaping to it and so yeah old granny blazers are another great one on my list <laughs> then another one of my favorite sections in a charity shop is the jumper section so i'm going to show you a few of my favorites that i've picked up over the years this one is one of the more recent ones i've picked up and it's got this really interesting collar sort of roll neck detailing that's not super high and then it's just very boxy ribbed white jumper and it's extremely synthetic feeling but it actually keeps you super warm so i love this cashmere jumpers are also a great thing to look out for in charity shops but beware because they often have very large holes in them or little holes that you can't notice before you buy them and charity shops like to whack out the price of cashmere um, so just make sure you check them before you buy them this is one of my favorite pieces of cashmere i have ever found i think i actually got this one on ebay so it was second hand on ebay ebay is actually really great for cashmere and it's in this gorgeous dusky blue shade and a really cute little ruffle detail all the way around and it's just super cozy there really is nothing quite like cashmere it just keeps you so warm and it's such a nice light layer as well you don't feel like you're just being drowned in knitwear i then have another little cardigan this is one of my all-time favorites i love how open the knit is and sort of chevron pattern that it has it's also got little yellowy flower buttons which i just think is so cute and this one was from st michael which is m and s um, that's what m and s used to be called another great thing to look out for in charity shops are big brand names sometimes the people that work there will realize it's a well-known brand and they will put up the price but sometimes they don't realize and you can get a real bargain this jumper is from ralph lauren and i found this on depop and it just has such a classic style to it. I'd probably say Depop is best if you're looking for branded clothing like this. Final jumper in this haul is a really sweet wraparound top. The shape of this is just a pretty classic, timeless shape. Like I don't see this ever really going out of style. It's not exactly like it's majorly in fashion at the moment, but it's still a good piece that you know is gonna last in your wardrobe without going out of fashion. The next section I love is men's t-shirts i love the sort of oversized boxiness of men's t-shirts and this is one of my favorite ones this is in a gorgeous sort of like stonewashed blue and it's got slight like wear and tear on the neckline which makes it look like it's been worn loads which a lot of the t-shirts you buy now are in that sort of style so i love wearing this to bed or with some cycling shorts and then it also looks really good like just tucked in to jeans so yeah men's t-shirts is another section that i love in charity shops and then finally i found this little gem in a charity shop in bath when i went with one of my friends it's an american gap skirt and it's just in this really sweet checkered style it's very sort of 90s feeling and i love wearing this in winter i think i wore it on christmas day last year actually um it's just a super flattering fit really easy to wear and really easy to style with just like a chunky jumper on top so i love this i don't actually tend to buy bottom half things from the charity shop all that often um generally because they end up not fitting properly or things like that so i don't really buy jeans and trousers from a charity shop unless i've tried them on so there we go that is everything i wanted to show you from my little charity shop collection and i hope you found some of these tips useful let me know if there are any amazing charity shops around you that you think would be worth a visit because some areas do just have really good charity shops i would really recommend the big salvation army in banbury and all of the other banbury charity shops are pretty good as well actually and I haven't been to too many in Oxford. The ones I've been to in the past have been really expensive. Um, Woodstock can be quite good for charity shops and Chipping Norton. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.